Oh, uh, what's this? Uh, fingerless gloves. I could probably use these for now instead of those ones. Oh, interfacing. Ooh. Which one is interfacing? Master machines. Pick locks and pockets versus electrochemistry. Let's do this for now. Water lock out of order until Wednesday. Who are you? Evening officers. A burly man hangs out by the water lock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the water lock and oh. on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal between them. His posture is relaxed. Despite his powerful build and a knife in his hand, this man, this man retorts, to resorts to physical intimidation. Frequently. What are you doing here, man on the water lock? Uh, do you know what caused this wreckage? I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershell. The words daredevil driver sound ominous. Sound ominous to you. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here, especially a water lock. Right. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. You know what's further down the coast? Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market, a bizarro church. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. Yeah, not really much else. Just. Uh, can I have some there. of that salami? Sure thing. Want some too, officer? Why not? Cool. Okay, so he... There was nothing there. A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. So there's a guy Loose stranded over there. From the now vacant holes. In the middle is a lever. Beneath it, a small metal plaque. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. But there's a crash but there's Samarin a crash butter, butter sign butter in the way. In the way. Pulling the lever probably won't do anything. Pull the lever. You pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks against the contact pins. You hear a soft clunk. Then nothing happens. The spring brings the lever back to its original position. Okay. You still need to close the water lock to get across the canal. Some other Some way. Other way. Wasn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday? On Wednesday morning. morning. Uh, can I go down here? No, I can't. So there's nothing else down here that I can deal with. There is a guy sitting right there, though. Uh, what's this? There's a pile of cheap sunglasses in a small box. A variety of shapes and colors. You like sunglasses, officer? Oh, God. I the later styles right here. Try the shades on, rummage through the box. These are all boring. Boring third-rate ho-hum sunglasses made of cheap Sirais plastic. The kind of plastic, plastic that plastic melts in the sun. <laughs> These are all first-rate sunglasses. Premium design, superb material, very cool. UV sure. resistant. These will definitely keep your eyes safe. Bet you my morale will go way down. While doing your dangerous police work. No luck. No. All you find is this lime-colored cellophane visor, produced by a bargain. Oh well. Oh, that visor is perfect for you, officer. It'll definitely keep the sun out of your eyes while you're shooting criminals. Bang bang. Should firefight oh, something we should be prepared for? I hope not. You don't like it? Sure, Square Joe. Six no dollars. Let's get you. Jesus. Um. There are clothes inside. Cheap, Cheap second-hand second clothes. Don't be shy. You find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends. So he's, he just sells cheap shit. But also trendy. Find something Don't worth salvaging from the pile of Why rags. Secondhand? Keep the economy moving. Something hey. raises your hand. Synthetic and sleek. A windbreaker. Ooh. So, it says. But Wind, summer, 100% waterproof. Summer. 
100% waterproof and sport. All practical, and yet it may deaden your senses to the world around you. Possibly because of the awful typeface. Oh. Good choice, officer. 450. And it's only 450 for you, sir. You see two lowly, defeated speakers, thralls, slaves, basically, perched atop them like conquerors. Surveying a pair of found durable wear sneakers. I can see you were tasteful luxury, officer. Inspect the sneakers. A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and simple. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway. Okay. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest. 50 bucks? Movie. These once respectable speakers have oh my been God. reduced to a mere prop by the indomitable. F no, no, don't look at the speakers, officer. Look at the sneakers. <laughs> the sneakers are the stars here. I already looked at the sneakers. Then look at them again. These are the premium lifestyle sneakers, officer. The best on the market. Can I just buy the sad Samaritan speakers? No way, officer. These aren't for sale. They're bad speakers. Low fi socialist junk. You're right. I don't have time for junk. But I need some speakers. Well, if you want them, but see, they are the pedestal for my sneakers. If I <laughs> the speakers, where will the sneakers go? Uh... I can't leave premium. If, on the other hand, you wanted to buy the sneakers too, I could maybe throw in the speakers for a little extra. 50 cents? What? Oh, what's this now? Lonesome, oh. Long way home. Here we go. Home Learning runs. cap for perception Walk raised to five. To one, Speed the gives market. one Pass side. The boogie street spearhead to the other side okay. of the lake. The frozen. Sure. And then this one is getting learned. So these ones are all. I get this now. I understand it now. That took a while. That took a while. Yeah, let's talk to him. You see a Samaran street vendor surrounded by a motley assemblage of the name Silen. He brought over his breast over pocket. His... Happy shopping, officer. Everything's cool here. What's so cool? Everything's cool. The goods are cool. The customers are cool. The place is cool. And one more thing, officer. From out on the bay, a cool wind gathers. It sweeps into the city tugging at the textiles hanging around the stand some distance away the sound of a tin can clattering across the street can be heard you're very cool bang 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 oh my god uh whether i'm cool is unimportant i have police questions for you're you right officer 100 percent no playing around then no Straight where are you from me? It's a boring story, officer. But you're not a local. It's about the past. Sounds I'm good. Let's get back to business now. then. You're not a local. Very sharp, officer. I'm Serais from the Sigai province of the Serais Empire. The apricot suzerainty, you know? Uh, why is it called that? The apricot suzerainty is what the Sigai archipelago is commonly known as in Revachol. It's a bit of a fraught term. I'm sure you understand. No, no. Apricots come from Sigai. My grandma used to grow them, but Siga is a shit hole. That's why I came to Revachol. Here's much better. Ah, uh, less laws. Of course, of course. Like where else are you gonna sell your shit, right? I send half my profits back to my grandma in Siga. Well, if it's for his grandma. So what's your stance on drugs? Drugs? I don't go in for that, officer. Drugs ruin lives. Unless you're into drugs, of course. In which case. Drugs are excellent. Mwah. Tasty, tasty drugs. Uh, we're looking for a lorry driver who's transporting drugs out of the harbor. He, uh, I'm super into drugs. That's very cool. A lot of the coolest detectives do drugs. Sadly, I don't have any drugs on sale. Oh, that's even cooler. You investigating that and all. But, uh... I'm not a lorry I'm driver, I'm just a, a street driver. vendor. I'm just a street vendor. I don't know but you are a lorry that. man. Another driver has identified you and your lorry. Who said that? It's the fat, the fat racist. racist. Right? I bet it's him. He has an agenda against me because I'm an immigrant who works harder than he does. He's a hater. He's a hater. So you admit you're a lorry driver? No, I just said I work harder and he's an asshole. 
I'm <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm a lorry driver too. Hey, yeah, you are. But that's not the most important thing about me. That's my day job. This is my dream. Uh, what do you know about the drug operation at the harbor? Nothing. I told you, I'm not a dumb guy. I don't get involved with that crowd. And what crowd is that? Crowd, you know. The drug, the drug crowd. crowd. He doesn't want to talk about them. He's afraid. You're wasting my time. Tell me who the fuck is transporting the drugs. Uh, if you don't know, then I'll tell your employer you've been selling his stuff. No use. He's not telling us. He's too afraid. We need to take him to my station and ask him there. After, After we've called we've his boss. Called him. Okay, look. There's bad people doing bad things here. That's all I know. Please don't get me into this mess. I've spent, I've spent 15, 15 years working years my way up. If you don't want to get in this mess, you have to give us a reason to move on. We're buddies. Ceiling, help us out. No one will know it was you. It's a she, okay? The other drivers call her the lady driver. I wonder if she has my gun. The way they talk about her, she's no lady. Is the lady driver the old woman back there? Point to the pale driver. I don't know. Maybe. If she is, I haven't gone near her. I don't get involved. I told you. It could be. She was strange. Uh, who are these other drivers? All of them. I don't know. I told you all I know. Are we cool now? Who exactly is talking about this lady driver of yours? I don't know what lady driver he's talking about. I don't know who the pale driver is. All of them. Even the ones who've left. I don't hang out with them. I don't remember who has tattoos. All right. I scored. Let's cap this off with a punch. Oh, it's so low again. All my checks are so low on this stuff. Both of you. you Persuade him to give you some money. No need to dress no. this one up. Just tell him what you want. I want your money now. Oh, okay. But why? Because I want you to bribe me. I'm a police officer, remember? That's why you're supposed to do. Uh, I don't know. It's just the only thing that could come up with my head to ask you. I need to get money somehow. Ah, uh, yes. Money is very important. Are you trying to ask for a bribe? If so, you're not doing a very good job. Sorry, detective. Okay, so obviously I can't do that. Okay, so I am failing a lot of these checks, which kind of suck, but whatever. There's nothing back here. I don't know what my next thing is. Maybe I can go do the, uh... You're the one... Oh, oh, oh. Where's that red? There it is. Stop. Between those trucks down there, smokes. Go get them. Oh. Nice. I guess I could have got that at the beginning of the damn game. That's good to know that those are there. So if you ever play it again, there's smokes down there. Hello again, my man. I heard that one of the drivers is a woman, but I don't think she's here. Do you know this lady driver? Oh, can I try this check again? Oh. Okay. In his eyes. Hey! Longing. Flecks of brown and gold. I love getting it's the checks. To say. His gaze wanders southwest. The road continues for miles. Flowing together with other roads. We're, we're almost at 22, right? Yeah. Or bridges, ending suddenly in dead ends, or ramping up or down highways. It forms a crisscross pattern across the land. Where does it lead? Above the general quarter, in the form of a raised motorway. And then the I still don't know my name. I still don't know where my badge is. I know a lady bought my gun. I don't know where my clothes are. I haven't fully investigated the body. To the old, old south, to the farthest outskirts of Revachon, through the checkered fields of farmland, upstream to the river Esperance, past Mont Martin, you cannot see. It's out of the city. Up ahead, the mist blocks all sight. A gale blows across your cheeks. It is cold. Before you stands a tall lorry driver, 
What's Sad eyes. What's in the southwest? Excuse me. Uh. Hell, I get longing. I've felt something similar since I woke up. Really, you can tell me. Man, I don't know what to say. Not much anyone can do. There's not much. No there's no in helping absence, in absence. You know, I miss my family. Right. They're all I have. My wife, second kid on the way, waiting all the way in Diora. And here I am stuck in this shit. Where's Diora? So far from home. Diora of the Seven Seas. It's on the other end of La Caillou, pretty much. On another island called Laurentide, off mainland. We've got a little place there. I can almost hear my kid laugh when it snows. What's it like to miss someone? What's it like? Good. And bad. An ache that brings you joy. I think of them a lot. I dream up these silly scenarios in great detail of living with them. It comforts me. <sighs> what about you, cop man? You missing Is someone? That what it is? This feeling? No, it's scarier than that. You're, You're pursued, pursued by a hunter. hunter. What is half light? Of sorrow oh. And the past. Uh, I missed my gun. I lost it. You lost your gun. Oh man, that's bad news. Especially here in Marnay's. I hope you find it soon before things. Yeah, I need to find out. this lady. But thanks. Hey, for yay! That. It's nice to talk to someone. And I know it wasn't easy to ask. Five experience! Woohoo! I hope you find your way through your own troubles. It's nice to talk to someone, and I know it wasn't easy to ask. I heard one of the drivers is a woman, but I don't think she's here. Do you know this lady driver? I don't want to talk about that. Oh. She may be involved with the drug business. Man, I was hoping it isn't going to be her. All I can say is, she isn't around here anymore. She isn't some evil drug trafficker. And I don't know where she is. I asked you who's conducting the drug trade. You said you didn't know. Now you're saying you do. Who is this person? What's her name? Thank God I don't know. People here call her the lady, the lady driver. driver. She kept her name a secret. Mm. For me too. Now I see why. Who is she to you? A friend? An acquaintance. I don't know. She was the only person in this damn jam I could talk to. She's someone I don't want to rat out to the law, okay? What does she look like? A youngish woman. Gruff, but... In a cool way. What color hair? Blue and violet. Dyed. It was violet when she got here. Blue before, Blue before she, before went. she went. she may have dyed it again. Right. I asked you who's conducting the drug trade. So you didn't know, and now you're saying you do. I didn't, man. I told you I was hoping it's not her. That she wouldn't be mixed up in it. He still is. Hoping. It's just wishful thinking yeah. on his part. When did not she true. leave? Damn, I don't want to... Please just let it go. Whatever she did, it can't be that bad. She's not a bad Why person. Why can't you just tell me this? We can't just let it go. It's part of a police investigation. That's how it always is with you, isn't it? All part of the investigation. The girl's true. Oh, it's almost 22. If you hunt her down, she may not survive it. I can't have that on my conscience. It won't come to that. We won't pursue her on this. This is information only. I don't believe you. Believe us, it really is. You said she's troubled, how? She's got the darkness in her. That young person's darkness when you think it's all over. And you're looking for a way out. She shared this with you? Yes. Which is why I don't want to snitch on her. Not snitching, it's just a few questions. Come on, man, life is just a joke. I was told everyone's afraid of her. You're not? I heard the rumors. I saw the other drivers looking at me strange when we talked. And she told me, too. That she's had a violent life. But I wasn't afraid of her. More like... For her. Did this violent life include drug trafficking? Well, it looks like it did now, but we didn't talk about that. We talked about life, you know? Oh, so he had regular she conversations with her. When she left, did she leave her lorry behind? Fuck, man. Go grill someone else with these questions, okay? There are plenty of drivers here who couldn't stand her or were afraid. They'd be of more her. happy to rat her out. They'd be more than happy to rat her out. He's right. There are other options. Push Tommy, and it will break his heart and his spirit. Now is not the time to focus on feelings. You, you need, need that info. info, son. It's right here. The answer is right here. Put yourself in my you shoes. I need this for another ask. investigation, too. It's important. I can't blow it. it. She's a sub suspect, and I need you to tell me where she is, or I can't finish the investigation. I'll drop the matter for now. Thank you, friend. 
I'm not going to do it for now. It is 22, so we're going to go up on that balcony. We're going to have this conversation. That you said I could have after. We should also talk to a bunch of these people. I wonder if I could do the mirror check again. There we go. Can we talk on here? We should think about calling it a day, maybe. The nights are still miserably cold this time of year. We can pick up where we left off to. Um, I'm not done, but you said that you would... Kim can answer any lingering questions you may have about the case in the RCM. Join him on the Whirling Wigs balcony after 22 when you're calling it a day. What I'm doing right now. But is he not is he not ready to call it a day yet? This is the door to the room you read. No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't. I don't. How do I get out of this? Nope. 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 Just a moment. You had some questions earlier, I believe. And besides, we should discuss our progress on the. No, I didn't want to go to bed. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. The air outside is brisk. The lieutenant is silent for a moment. Yes. He listens to the traffic hum. Then. Where shall we begin? We should talk about the investigation, first and foremost. But I also remember you wanting to discuss the RCM. He lights a cigarette. I didn't know you smoked. I have a cigarette every night when I go over my notes. It's something of a ritual. Oh, man. He looks so devastatingly He looks cool. so cool. That cigarette. Um, how did you get so cool, Kim? Uh, I'll have one, too. You're cold, detective. Again, I only have exactly one every night. How did you get so cool, Kim? Yes. It's been a How do you think today went? Well, you were so hungover that you couldn't keep it down when we approached the hangman. So we didn't even inspect. The so I probably won't be hungover tomorrow, though. And there's still much to do at the crime scene, too. We didn't search it. No, we didn't. We would have put all of this more harshly. But he doesn't want you to feel Don't worry, Kim. I'll be much better to shape tomorrow. Probably it's all part of the plan, starting from the outside and working just back towards the scene of the murder. Jumping. It's not my job to evaluate your methodology, officer. I'm just going through the facts, right? Able to find the union leader, Evrard Claire, much less interview him. So that's on the to-do list. We need to find the union leader, Evrard Claire. We tried to interview the wife, Anne's Red, but she asked us to do something for her first. Fine. I have a feeling Joyce knows how dangerous the situation is. Right. Released. We have to get her to talk to us. To I need to find my badge. Above all, though, today was exhausting. What's with all the running? You run a lot. Is that I have a really good theory about why you're running. Why do you run a lot? <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I don't want really to waste time, you know. My mind moves fast. The rest has to try to keep up. I'm training for a long distance run. Yeah, it's just how we roll. I don't know why I do things I do. It's impressive, especially for a man your age. And in those hills. Nice shoes, by the way. I like the green. Goes with the orange. Um, so what are our powers exactly, the RCM? They're quite limited, actually. The power officers of the Revachol Citizens Militia exercise most frequently is imposing fines. This music is way louder than offenses. what he's saying. In accordance with an interdepartmental schedule. A thousand, why not more? The RCM's primary role is to ensure safety. We are not really supposed to play any part in the economic structure of Revachol. Wouldn't that be an easy power to abuse? Yes, although indirectly, as citizens can always request records from their local station. Officers of the RCM have been known to take bribes of less than the prescribed fine amount. Okay. We can arrest people, of course, but rather than bringing someone in directly, it's preferable to serve a station cold sleep. It prevents, it prevents confusion, confusion and overcrowding. Problem. How can you be sure the arrestee will show up? You can't. Those who don't show up become fugitives, though, and have fewer legal rights when they are eventually caught. It's about power projection. Thus far, this they seem to mostly to show, show up. When power calls you, you come. But power itself is a fragile... And if someone trend. resists? As you may have gathered from the fact that we are expected to carry a record of our kills, I 
to one of the water bars. We are permitted to use whatever force is necessary. Jeez. And strongly admonished not to abuse that power. What happens to people we convict? Uh, so, wait, so if I kill someone while on duty... You have to supply compelling evidence for why it was necessary to uh, use lethal force. In these cases, your, your partner is usually your witness. Not a good position to be in, by the way. Internal Affairs handles these cases thoroughly right. by cross-examining you for inconsistencies. It is hard to... What happens to the people we convict? We don't convict. We arrest and send them to coalition government courts in prison and La Delta. The prosecution works off our testimonies and records, which is why it's paramount to keep them. Who makes all these rules? The coalition government and the moral intern. The RCM was formed by the coalition government to restore, restore order in the international zone after the revolution. So we did. Now we attempt to maintain that order. No more, no less. Or perhaps it is better to say we were allowed to form. It's a point of contention whether the citizens of Ravishal Let's say it was citizens of Ravishal. Be sentimental if you like. Either way, the moral intern leases us the right to keep the peace in this city. And they will take it away if we misuse it. Uh, the Moral Intern, what is it? The Moralist International are the world's largest political organization. You know who they are. They have been running this place after the revolution failed. If I didn't know, how would you describe them? They're a union of center-left and center-right parties across, across the, the Riyadh Belt. Belt. Our coalition government Our coalition is just one of its many projects. one of its many projects. They also run the Intergovernmental SAP, organization. Okay. What do they what, believe what in? What do they believe in? They are Deloreans. They believe they continue the humanist project set forth by Harima since Dolores Day okay. four centuries ago. What is their symbol? Question. It's a blue forget-me-not. Their motto love, is love, compassion, and self-discipline. Self -discipline. I think you can gauge what they want you to think of them from that. Right. Something ominous. <laughs> Something even a little feminine. But in a strange... Who is Dolores Day? A historic figure? The author of the modern age? You will have to look elsewhere for opinions. The subject of humanism is too abstract. For you, she is something painful, though it's hard to say why. What do you think of them? The moral intern are a fact. I try not to have opinions on facts until they change. And it doesn't look like that's about to happen. It is more than that. There's some kind of affection in him. You like the moral intern? Yes, I did when I was younger. In my 20s, I considered myself a moralist. A blue forget-me-not, a piece of the sky. They're not all that bad, but the years have changed that. I don't know what I believe in now. No, I believe in the RCM. That's enough for me. I have an opinion on Moral Lantern. Do you? Uh, they've done an awful job here. Have you seen this place? is in humanism. We are stooges of the world's biggest bourgeois organization protecting bourgeois rights. Mutter silently. Immigrants, liberal kips, fucking men are turning into women. On second thought, I don't have an opinion. Um, have you seen this place? This isn't humanism. We are in what is called the twilight of international law. The laws we claim to enforce come from the MI. Without them, we are simply... Yeah, vigilantes the sound bad. Sadly, it is what we already are to the people of Martinez. Most of them, at least. Especially the Union. I need to talk to... I need to get into that room. Job here to prove quite challenging. I also need to get into that other room. The lands of the orphan district are reflected in his glasses. The red and golden orbs of the motorway sliding like pearls on a string from east to west as Revachol commutes back to the suburbs. Tomorrow, Tomorrow is Tuesday, Tuesday, Monday is over. Monday, the dying lights of the city shimmer below. Slowly, like luminous clouds, they pass on his lenses. The lieutenant looks at his slim cigarette, contemplating the next drag. This soldier is the highlight of the day for me. He thinks, this little stick right here. They really don't like us here. And the mouth Yeah, they really in the mouth on that kid, yeah. It's different in land, in Jamrock and the GRIH. It's our fault for leaving this place to the dogs, to the union, to the company, not daring to come here more often. This place has fallen between the cracks, the jurisdictions of our two precincts. And in the Jamrock and the GRIH? We run this city. West of the river is RCM land. It's incredibly hard. Human beings are... But we are in control, and it's worth it. The organization, the organization works. works. Our system our works. Systems work. I hope our investigation will help improve the situation here at least some good. Me too. 
but I wouldn't count on any drastic changes in our lifetimes. Thanks. Yeah, it's getting very cold now. Yay! Hey, I got a new skill point! Woo! Awesome. Yeah. I would say we're done for the day, correct? Uh, I'm gonna go, I wanna go down here and just talk quickly to these guys. I do need a lot more money. Uh, there's a bunch of people here. Is there anybody that's worth talking to here? No. Hello again, sweetie. No. What about you? Why do you get highlighted? I can't do anything with you. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Not now. Oh, excuse me. Do you have something better to do? No, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking. Okay, we're going to bed. Going to bed. See you in the morning. Yep. Can I look in the mirror again? A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it. Okay, these are all white checks, so I'm gonna do them. With the expression. Like the rest of you. Right. It comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all. And then I'll do this one too. For now. It's too late. Yeah. Like an image on film. The expression. So nothing. That door means nothing, so we're gonna go to sleep. The bed is cold and yeah. not particularly inviting. We're going to the next day! The sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against your skin. The bed sags beneath your weight. Day two, baby. Stretch out we haven't figured anything out. Close your eyes. And then sleep. And then sleep doesn't come. But I want to sleep. Obviously, you're in bed with your eyes closed. But it's not happening. Maybe it's the bed's fault. Uh, roll over to the other it's side. It's a little better. Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still litter your mind. Part of you is still trying to solve the case, isn't Who it? Who killed him? Who? Something to do with... What was it that the lieutenant said? Union? And it's gone again. Your thoughts lost between the slowing brain waves. Your breathing steadies. A great silence washes over you until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images, images start forming. Jesus, I got like no sleep. Oh, what, what? Going up here, baby. of your childhood oh god this is you i was born in a hospital where people usually go to die what is this what it says on the can harry answer the it sounds question. like Geralt from the witcher who needs sleep anyway exactly he's getting no rem sleep tonight i was born in a hospital where people go to die i remember nothing do you remember your wife's hand on your face uh i i was left that's right funky baby Funky bye bye. I just stood there. One hand Why is on Geralt the in this game? And the other on your dick. Watching her go. Let it all be dragged away from you. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Harry. Harry boy. boy. Where the hell are yours? I can get it all back. No, it's gone. Three times gone and never coming back. You failed. You failed. Failed. You me. failed me. You failed Elysium. What is Elysium? Everything. The pile and the easel. Speaking of Geralt, I can't wait for the next season the of The Witcher. Surface, I didn't watch Witcher the second the season. Um, I watched the first season and loved it. Burning it's on my list to watch the second season. Truth. But I watched. Thousand years. 
of written history. I watched one episode of season two, just wasn't into it. Um, I need to finish it though. I need to finish it. You really dropped the ball, Harry. I've seen you before. What? No, you haven't. You're just sleep talking, and the act is wearing thin too. The spots on the disco ball fade around you. You'll be back in those cold snake skins in no time, sweating up the bed. Stinky boy. I can come back from this. You're not coming back from shit. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the rest of it. I have a couple of other shows to finish up, and then I'm gonna. It's on my list. It's on my list. Bumping into things. So is Rings of Power. Sure. So is the Game of Thrones stuff. So there's just so much shit that comes out that it just gets backpiled. It's like it's like games. You just backlog a ton of shit. I'm trying to solve. Trying to solve this case. You're trying to what? I can't hear you. This is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin sleep, sleep like, like state. state. More glass than velvet. Grinding in your head. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad, this dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. What? Some kind of my limbic system. New type of God, animal. there's another type. Oh yes, party boy. Oh yes, party boy. The one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes too. So soon already, a silent alarm goes off in your head, like clockwork, barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. Time to go to work in the shit factory. What? Hey, I'm full health now. All right, and full morale. Sweet. Stand up, bitch. Day two. Good going, buddy. Oh, God. What the hell was that? Oh, just a dream. You have ones like that all the time. You feel even worse this morning than you did last night. What? Really? You mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even I hope think. I'm not feeling as bad as it I did is yesterday. It's worrying. Isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. I feel super good. That's not really true. Your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get Time some to more. Get some more. Don't do that. Stay strong. The hangover will wear off. You don't need to keep doing. What this is yourself. speed? Speed is a potent central nervous system stimulant. Kept you prepped you up, up all, all day, day yesterday. yesterday. Despite your debilitating hangover, how else did you think you I'm not going to take speed. Food? You got up from this floor because of a holy vow you made 16 years ago with me. To wake up exactly 7.30 every morning until the day you die. Don't be silly. There was no vow. You were high on speed. That was the only reason you got up. You can't detect without it. It's that simple. I need to get more of it than detecting is my life. Um, no. I'm not Are you there. sure? Ready to live as this pathetic shell of yourself for days? Basically, a week. Yeah, I'm not getting it. No. Let's be honest. Two weeks. Okay. Suit yourself, slow, sad shell man. See how you do without your... Sp Sweet! Uh, can I try the mirror stuff again? Can I try checks over and over and over and again? No. Hangs on the bath. No. Knock on this door. What about here? The door is closed. Still nothing. The murmur in your ears recedes. Jason. Jason. Jason, 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 Jason. What's going on, buddy? You want to hear your name? Oh, it's open. Oh. The union is open. Everybody's moved around. I'm so confused. So much going on here. 
Hey, what's going on, buddy? Nice to see you. Morning. Good morning. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union mess all turned up. Yeah. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. Uh, what do you mean rowdy? I mean ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RC. Why do I look like a civil war general? Because I decided to dress myself in a really cool hat and a really cool... Because they give you stats. I don't know, man. I don't know. How was Calabunga collection? Men who drink beer for breakfast? There's talk of an armed wing of the union called the Hardy Boys, who are responsible for state policing. I think yeah. it's them. Are these are the men Gar told us about yesterday. I completely forgot. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them it's by the looks like of it. Looks okay. it. it was no, fine. Really nice That's good. Sleep, just like the That's manager good. said. It's just they're just they're just the games, right? They're the games that we've played a million times as kids. So. One loose thread less. Same shit, different pile. One hey, I got thirty experience. Why do we need to talk to them? A lot of things point to the dock workers union. The circumstances in Martinez. Might I have to go back and do more research mm -hmm. on Actually, the body, though. That's not a lot of things. We there are many of them. Maybe we should call in reinforcements. That would just escalate tensions. Right. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder, one murder isn't, isn't worth the conflict. conflict between the RCA. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. So let's keep a cool head. It's all the arcade games for our childhood, along with old-ass console games. Right. One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. What's we up for today? Right what are you guys doing? Continue with our business. Uh, we don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them and continue with yeah. our business. A power move. Purposeful. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk to you first. Can I help you? About my bill for tonight. Uh, I don't have that. I don't have your money yet. What about you? Just a moment. And there's no public phones nearby? Uh, one of the boys' classmates has a birthday party today. Nice. Phone booth. I have baseball at 3.30, so I gotta go to that. That's all I got going on today. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. I'm glad to see you again, dear. The lady is distressed. Perhaps something more upbeat. Uh, child. good day, ma'am. Everything all right? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get Why there. do you need to use a phone? Or to let the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and our friend Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night. How much do you want to bet that this is the woman that bought my gun? Heard from them. <laughs> and it's like going to be a total twist. Uh, am I not getting this rain? Um, it doesn't sound like it's raining. I was also hoping she'd heard from. I think, I think it rained this morning, but it's not raining anymore. You hear that? Someone's missing. There could be foul play afoot. Um, missing persons aren't really missing. Why do I have to play right? Oh, I love missing persons right. cases. Now skip the foreplay. Time to dive into the dark. Rain night. all morning? Start shaking down the usual stuff. wonder suspense. if it is raining. You know, legwork. No, the skies are clear. It's all good here. Weird. Doing some good will alleviate the hangover. Has your husband gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. A cold breeze hisses through dense thickets of reeds. Something sweet in it, somnolent. A damp chill goes down your spine. When you look around, you're still, you're still in the in whirling and rags. Rag. But you have more important things to worry about. What is this expedition your husband was on? Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. Oh, he's, he's the one that's stuck across. Oh, I know where he, he is. Them. The water lock that was broken. Yeah. Could this be it? Uh, the water lock to the other side of the coast is broken. They're probably just stuck over there. Yeah. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? Some well, technical problem. Whatever the cause, right. I'm thankful. 
to both of you. You've spared me another sleepless night. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely, extremely rare insect. insect. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the. I don't know, Lena. I so think you might be under. I think you might be a little more to this prepared. story than I think you are. It's cold out there. I don't know. I'll let him know you're here. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Your husband is some kind of scientist? Oh, yes. A zoologist. What is a cryptozoologist? Crypto what is cryptozoology? It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts and urban legends. Yeah. That's uh, one opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. My apologies, ma'am. I did not I mean to undermine to your hobby. hobby. Ooh. It's Kim. Not a hobby, dear. Kim. It's a subfield of zoology, one specializing in animal species oh, Kim. that are gotta so be quiet, exceedingly buddy. rare gotta be quiet. that many assume them to be extinct or e searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. And frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. She's completely internalized her husband's struggles. They are uh -oh. Maybe you convince her to tell you about some cool cryptids. This, I better pass this. I have a 97% chance of passing this. There's really Thank no you. point in manipulating anyone. She'd be only too I'd like to hear about some of the cryptids you studied. Can you tell me oh. about them? Oh, I'd be delighted. Truth be told, I could really use the company too. One cryptid, not a couple. One. This won't turn into some kind of cryptid extravaganza. He nods and assumes a waiting posture. Cryptids, cryptids. Let's hear, Let's hear all about the interesting, the interesting cryptids. Crypt Ooh, tough choice there. What's the most dangerous? Is that a cryptid on this pen you gave me? Take out the pen she gave you. Are there any invisible cryptids? This is going to, uh, what about the pen? Yes. It's the kind green ape. Half war story, half undiscovered species in the genus Homo. War story? Yes. It was reported by soldiers in South Safra during the war. The kind green ape would visit bunkers during the night, healing wounded soldiers with its saliva. No way. Not a chance. I don't believe that in any way, shape, or form. The kind green ape would visit bunkers during the night, healing wounded soldiers. Get out. Get out. Yes. It has amazing healing qualities. Some soldiers reported Get out. growing back limbs, no. regaining their sight. No. Indeed, there is. It's our closest relative among the cryptids. Same taxonomic family, different genus. Which is to say, the kind green ape is a species with which we share a common ancestor and that evolved power. I knew it, Kim. You're not human. Just Pretty like sure Kim partners. is the same species as us. It's just otherwise it's stupid. That's why I always have to take the lead, right, Kim? The lieutenant looks at you, pleasantly surprised. No, I didn't mean to imply that Saolites are inferior to us in many ways. You are superior. For example, your earwax doesn't have a foul odor like ours does. Interesting. A tremendous evolutionary advantage. <laughs> perhaps we had enough speculative from the A tremendous evolutionary advantage. <laughs> uh... Oh, uh, we could ask a bunch of them. I'm not going of to. Of course, dear. Tell me more about moral looks, character, your relationship. Oh, dear. I'm not sure where... What does your husband be? look like? Hmm. Well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but his eyes are always bright and what? curious. Wow, and my voice. earwax doesn't smell and as much? Great. Quite coarse from all the field work, but he's quite gentle. It's always a gentle uh, Kim's hilarious. If we were trying to meet on the street, what would I look for? Well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame, and he has longish white hair, usually a bit uncombed. You might say wild, even. The lieutenant pulls out his notebook and begins jotting down the woman's description. One other thing. 
He'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him, even if he's not out in the reeds, you know, just in case. How long have you been married? We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary Ooh, this autumn. Oh, 16th. Not the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow. How did you two meet? By a dating agency, I'm ashamed to say. I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident. And he just divorced. We hit it off and, well, here, here we, we are. are. She's skipping over some important. I think I have all the information I need. Let's move I on. Hope I've been useful. Tell me more about this rare insect your husband is looking for. Um, yeah. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating, but I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. Um, I want to hear about this insect. He doesn't want me to talk about it. Mm. Uh, of course, dear. I'd really like to hear more about cryptids. Um, oh, for now. Okay. The first thing that I feel like we need to do... Oh, I could talk to you. Let me handle this. Detective disorientated. Oh, she's the gardener. Are yeah. you still wondering where you are? This is Martinez, in case you've forgotten. I advise you not to overstay your welcome. Uh, I just wanted to know more about the place before I check it out. You're the gardener. No, I am not a gardener. I'm a legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. You lied to me. So let's get to it. You're looking for Titus Hardy? You think he has information that will help you? Maybe he does. That's Titus. Talk to him. But know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming. Nothing official. Interesting. Martinez, does not recognize your authority to make arrests. Okay. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. What's your role in all this? Like I already told you. I'm a legal, a legal counselor. counselor. Do you have hearing problems? Whoa, we're going to walk to you, not Titus. What are you going to do to me? Why are you so aggressive? Aggressive? You make your living enforcing violence. These people These are just people dock are workers. Just dock workers. Hmm. So you were spying on us. And now you represent murder suspects. Just dock. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishol. 20 fat men in the occident are stealing it all and, and you you're their, their bodyguards. bodyguards fuck yeah uh the tall broad shoulder man takes a sip of his beer so ask what you came to ask or get back to your commanders the world needs a financial buffer zone. When you get emotional, the privatization is not unlawful. It's cool and funny. Maybe you're just not historical individuals. I don't know where you heard that, but it's wrong. The RCM is principled and strong and like you're socialist. I like that. Good start. Let's take a step further. Armed uprising. What are the union's plans? Um... Get sober. Do your job. I am. I'm sober now. And get the hell out of Martinez. What if I want to talk to you and not what Titus? What you want is of no significance, officer. Don't test your authority. In Martinez, you are, you are no one. one. I saw what you were thinking. You want, you want to, to say, say what, what you're going, going to do to me. To yeah. Do to me. Don't. Just because it's in your head doesn't mean you have to say it. You will not lose out on anything good by not saying it. No. Okay. We're going to go back out first because, and she left this spot now. We have to go back out and we have to do this stuff. Uh, let's F5 this. Is that kid gone now? Yeah, he is. Oh no, he's still there. What about this stuff? Can I take another look at this stuff? There are several footprints in the mud no. left by work boots. Anywhere from heavy workers' boots 
So I can't look at anything. There, he still is. Looking. Oh, there we go. I should get this. Let go of your nose to throwing up. 97% chance of passing this. That's great. To that corpse smell. Yeah. Emitting it is all. As you breathe in, yes. the odor comes over you. It's the smell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to ring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting. Do they always do that? It. They do after seven days, yes. We are deep in decomposition here. Step closer. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Okay. Inspect the boots. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above Look the Look at those knee. boots on him. The man wore Jeez. thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Delicate and fragile. They feel alien to the world around you. Out of place, man. That place definitely now. looks out of place. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. This is the armor he has stripped off. Indeed. Yeah. Stripped of. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Not boots. What kind of armor is this Ceramic exactly? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the heel. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500 VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced, advanced stuff. stuff. This is like Fallout stuff now. Where's the rest of it? Scavenged by locals? Um, the material looks out of place here. It is. It's expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabulary is deemed it too costly. How much are we but talking about? For a full set, about four years. Four ago. years of wages for a full set? That's a lot. By catching, do you mean let's not log them as evidence? Let's steal them? What was that about the constabulatory before? You need to push some buttons if you want to recruit a lieutenant in a conspiracy. No, that's not what I meant. Of course. Where's the rest of it? Piece by piece. He's been out here for seven days. It'd be odd if, be they odd if they didn't. Right. We should keep a lookout for these species. Right. The armor could yield information. This is one thing he might actually know. If you wear those pieces, it will help me protect your mortal coil. If you wear those pieces, it'll help me. Why does my mortal coil need protecting? Yes, bullets will fly. They always do. And the coil is fleshy and mush okay. and permeable. Cast it in ceramic shell. Maybe he was just wearing Resist these boots and there's no that. rest of the armor. The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying form. How could this man afford such expensive hardware? And synthetic. That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbour Company. But that just hearsay. Initial report. Just something I scraped together from my station. An area report on Martinez. I'm sure you did the same. He's not actually sure of that. He's just being tactful. Uh, these look pretty advanced for a security guard. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. Uh, knock on the boot. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. Suddenly, your biceps coil up. Your elbow is sharp and cocked for a punch. No, sounds fragile. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy. I'm not going to punch it because I know punching it just hurts my health every single time. Entirely. See? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether. Like the scales of some ancient white monster, cracked and pearly. Pull the boot off? This feels dangerous. Are you sure? Better not even try. The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying form. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. His okay, torso the belt. covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. 
Right. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. Oh, is that a word? Vermilion, in yellow letters, along Ooh. the length of the twisting cargo belt. Only a deep longing for vermilion golden spirits lets you decipher the fading logo of the local brewery. This is a bad time for a drink. Extremely. What kind of rope is this? Industrial strength. You can use for tying cargo to lorries. Mm. Like in a circus. When the circus leaves town and they tie a black spotted giraffe to the wall of a carry pen. Like in a harbor. Yes, it looks like they use whatever was on hand, paying no attention. So it could have been a lorry driver. Themselves. We're assuming Doc Burris from Harbor did it. Uh, they sure wanted him to stay here. The polyester seems strong. It's not merely polyester. It's still reinforced. It's still reinforced. See these lines? This is where the wires run. I see rabbits for more than 20 strands. This makes getting him down much more, much more problematic. Much more problematic, right. How did they even get him the up there? This is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Did they climb up using the kid's ladder? That ladder can't carry a grown man. Yeah. I didn't see any splintering either. Did you? I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. Right. Pursuing dock workers from the harbor did I'm it? I'm still approaching this as a lynching, yes. Motivated by the ongoing, by the ongoing strike. strike. No. You feel like it was something else. Makes sense. Believable, mundane. I feel like it was something else. Yes. It often is. This bed worries me. Back off and look at the corpse. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. Back the tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. His corpse is marked by stars. What will mine be marked by? Alcohol and heartbreak. Your fist clenches suddenly. It will be marked by bullet holes. It will be riddled with disco. Decay is creeping on the tattoo. Already, most of the canvas that's holding it has darkened. Now, it disintegrates slowly. Letting, letting out, out a, a stink. stink. Is this a map of the night sky? Is this a microelectronic system? Is this the national pattern? Is this the map of the night sky? A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Great century machinery, maybe. Customized. But this seems more particular. We're missing something. I agree. <laughs> a sudden ring fills the air as Lieutenant pulls down the zipper of his orange pocket he jacket. A thin piece of milled aluminium. Oh, what's he doing? His coat pocket and pulls it open. A sword. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. Oh, he has a camera. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. Let the lieutenant work. An instant color camera. He produces two metal capped amp amp ampules and clicks them into place on the side of the apparatus. A thin slot shines there. This is the first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. I have only two ampules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound, a shrill flash. Ooh, there it is. The breaking of a small ampule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. In case we need it. All right. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, what do we need this photo for? It contains insight to the victim's person. Yeah. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to us. Someone should decipher it. We need to show it around. Uh, can I have it? it should, I should look at it later with the corpse smell. Here, a souvenir. Of course, he just gave Don't it to me. It. The glassy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper, teeming with opportunistic organisms. Look him in the eye. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just sub-aquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grins. His face past. is ready to what explode, Jesus. is an unrecognizable mess. 
Underneath the curl of meat there is an expression, not carried on his features, but below, inside. An expression man was experiencing pleasure. joy at the this moment of his death. This man was experiencing joy at the moment of his death. Hey! Tell me who you are, dead man. Ooh. The corpse. How did I fail that check? It was a 97% chance. What? No way. I rolled a 1-1? One, one? A critical failure. I feel like that's a check that I needed to pass. Who is he? He is male, 4250. With an athletic build. Oh my god. Are you friggin' serious? Why can't I do this again? Why why is this not letting me do it again? You may retry it. Okay, let me retry it. The corpse looks right through you. As you distance yourself. Tell me who you are. Stench. Try this Eyes again. Like a shark. Oh Thank you. Oh my god. That was brutal. I can't believe I failed a friggin' 97% chance. I can't believe that. Who are you? I'm a joke. Look at me. Nothing funny about you. There is nothing funny about jokes either. Who were you when you were alive? A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. I have another question for you. Go ahead. Where have Papa. you gone? Into the wild pale yonder. Where's that? In the past. Way out in the west. In the past, way out in the west. What is happening? What do you mean? I'm talking to you. It's the power of your... Black frothy liquid starts bubbling on imagination. his lips. Imagination. Yeah, man! Don't be crazy! Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. <laughs> What's going on with my tie? He loves those. Why do I love questions so much? Because... You're a copperoonie. Look at all of them go. Uh, Do you yeah. want more questions? Give me a comical amount of questions. Coming right up. Copper Is my name Rooney? Rooney? Fuck no. You're no Rooney. Between you and me, your name. I feel like I've been getting a lot of Harry lately. No, I can't be Harry. Harry. Good for you. Why do I feel like I've forgotten something terrible? Because you have. Who killed you? Love did me in, Brother Copo. It was love all along. All along. Can you ask me a question? Sure, Lobo. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? Why? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into I don't feel like this is giving me any answers right now. Here. Why are you investigating my mind? Nothing else to do because he told me to, not towards. Maybe this will lead to something, something indescribable, unforeseen, miraculous. <sighs> yeah. Something is on its way. Something hidden. It's coming. A miracle, a miracle from the from northwest. The northwest, and it's almost here. You can feel it in the air on your hands. Why were you the feeling pleasure when you died? Smoothing them over. Maybe I was getting my rocks off. First, you have to speak like that. What dialect is that anyway? So you were feeling sexual arousal when they were hanging you. Do I look like an erotic auto-asphyxiation type to you? No. Captain Copadromo. I fear we are drifting away. Fixating on sexuality again. Uh, I'm not going to ask a simpler that one. question. Come back later, Copo. Squint and take Amuse a step back. Yourself with my frank manners and my 
Memento Mori features, if possible, also see me in your dreams. Okay. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. Only the lower extremities are pink. I can't believe I failed that 97%. His fatted hands, Ridiculous. thighs, and his neck. Just squinting, Kim. Nose. Why am I doing it? The rest Relax of the corpse eyes. appears dark green. In the, the cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink. And How blue. do we get him down? Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. Step back and have a little look first. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos. I have something I need to know, corpse man. Pink. Of course. I you hate have you. To remind you of someone. Myself in the bathroom mirror. Oh. There you go. Look at that bright kid. We're, We're birds, birds of a feather, feather baby. baby. Soon you will be just like me. Just keep drinking and having a good time. Feeling nausea? Vomiting, tenderness or pain around the liver area, tiny red lines on the skin above waist level, more like days, Coppo. The clock is ticking. Come back later, Coppo. Well, that's it, right? yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. Ooh. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. I brought Chen Ooh, another skill point. I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without... Can I just skill. give the things to the kid? You, there's the question of cutting it. There's no question. There's only cutting. How hard can it be? Seems like a lot of hassle. Let's not do it. Maybe we could shoot him down. Maybe we can ask for help from the harbor. Someone else do Someone it. Someone else? You mean like... The police? You have a point there. Sadly, yes. The whole RCM is out there right now, doing the exact same thing we are. Are we in a rush to help them? Not with this on no. our hands. I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern. Um, we need to get him down. I can cut the belt easily and I already have the chain cutters. I don't doubt your physical prowess, officer. But that's yeah, we need to get up there. Material. And we do not have a secure platform to perform the procedure on. Right. The risk of acrobatic failure is one we cannot take. We must not become comedy for the locals. The fuck have you got against comedy pigs? Uh, we could saw the branch. Um. Climb up there and saw the branch. Yeah, it seems dangerous. There has to be a less risky way, with less falling down of trees. Uh, maybe we can ask for help from the harbor. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The union appeared to be suspect in this case. Yeah, let's it reconsider seems like a dangerous it. route to go down. <laughs> I love you, Kuno. But what other options? The corpse twists on the belt like chicken on a skewer. I don't know what to do. Hmm. So I need, I need to, I, I need the kid to go up there. Fuck this, Kuno care. I need to put something into empathy. Figure out what's going on with this kid. Kuno doesn't fuck. What about you? I'll die before I squeal, pig. Uh. Stay away from. Yeah, of course not. I'll die before I. I come from the woods. Good to be. Don't be charming. Oh my god. I'll die before I. Okay, so I did all that, and I got. What is this? I got the photos, right? An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hanged man, from the right shoulder to the So how axis. do I, or where? Each time hmm. the lines intersect, a small I need to go talk to the union now. In their crossing, hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. It still kind of looks like a map of the stars in the night sky, but something's not right what's the meaning of this tattoo for you to discover you've gotten as far as you will without assistance someone close to the victim might know Go who are on. you oh. 
That was not helpful. Oh my god, we have so much shit to do. Holy crap. So much shit to figure out still. Okay. Do we have any... I would love to do this, but I think I need to... There are several footprints in the mud. Put more Move individual calculus. Uh, this really isn't anything. Like... I can't cut him down. I can't do that stuff. So we need to go talk to uh, the people in there. Oh. Oh, you. Oh, we can't even get up there. How do you get to the roof? Oh. Gotta be a way to get up to the roof. Gotta be a way to get up to the roof. Isn't that the girl? Hold on. Can I help you? No, you can't. Isn't that the girl that was at the beginning? That talked to me here? Yeah, there's like no other way to get up there. Interesting. Hey, we're gonna talk to all these people. Uh, I can only talk to you. There's nothing else to pick up in here. Oh, what's this? Behind the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. The men are talking, but you swear you hear those black limbs tap on the window as the wind blows outside. It's not time yet. Uh, look out the window. Minus 12. Not time yet. Let's just do it anyway. Right? Nothing. Yeah. Just black tangles like the hair of an old... Wind. There's a little slide panel up there to let some air in. No need to open it. And you're not so sure about that. There's something Somehow out there. you just know there's something out there. Yeah, your mother. Oh, that's rude. Okay, let's talk to this guy. This is where you say your bed. This is where you say your bit? He's used to giving orders and having them obeyed immediately. You, you should, should not indulge him. Detective. Don't say anything yet. Hey, hey dipshit. You hard of hearing or something? The boss man's talking to you. Cross your arms. What, is he fucking kidding? Is this guy high or something? Hey asshole, up here. We're talking to you. We are looking for Titus Hardy. There we go. First, we need to talk about your attitude. First, we need to talk about the man hanged. Out back. Oh, this is about him. A real looker, that one. You're sure taking your time, waiting for him to get ripe and pretty for No, I just can't get him down. Oh, he was a real pretty boy by now. Real hot stuff. Letting out that pretty boy smell. Time to go to work in the shit factory. Easy, boy. These janitors have a hell of a job cut out for them. I mean, I wouldn't go in there for a million. You might want to start asking your questions now. <laughs> it's not. These oh, guys thank are you. so macho. They're ready to confess to first degree murder. Ask if it was them. Questions? To hell with that. Get right, Get right up, up in the big, big dick's dick face. face. Physical Scan the room. Uh, the man hanged in the backyard. Did you do it? The pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. Funny. But my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Uh, why is there a container belt around the dead man's neck? I have spoken to the dead man in Abzara Call. You're involved somehow, I just don't have proof. Uh, container belt? Like we use in the harbor? Yes. Because we took it from the harbor where we worked. Ooh. We went out from the harbor where we worked, and we went out back and used it to hang him. We did this together, all of us. Yeah, you, until yeah. he was dead. <laughs> That's, That's it. It's game over. We got the perpetrator. Goddamn right. No, these seven honest men have equally come forth. They told you what happened, so that you don't waste any more. Any more of your time. time, right? They're lying. They're playing to their considerable strength in numbers. Right. Don't talk about arresting them. 
you only bring attention to your inability to do so. Who called the shots that night? When did this hanging incident occur? Um, who called? Mm, who called the shots that night? Are you dead? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a Hardy boy without, without arresting, re arresting all of them. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them no. all? No. Titus, keep addressing him. He wants everyone to know he's in charge. Uh, no, but seriously, who calls the shots around here? <laughs> who do you fucking think does? Um... You do. That's right, asshole. Titus Hardy runs the Hardy Boys. Ain't that so, fellas? <laughs> I think you got your answer. Mr. Law. I did. No, you did not get an answer. Titus does administrative work. He pushes paper, fills out forms, the others can't read. But on that night, they all acted as one man. Hmm. You murdered him just like that, no remorse. How many people have you sent to the Shades? Ever felt remorse for them? Or send them to reunion to rot? For 20 years? Yes, but these are all bad people, criminals that come to the earth. Look, I'm just doing my job. What we do is different. We enforce the law. You just kill people like nothing. Honestly, I drink so much I can't. Mm, I'm just doing my job, scum of the earth. Um... Oh, so you are just a simple, well-meaning man. Eh? I am. Ever been in solitary? Prison is a charter. That's what it is. He's clearly been in solitary confinement, and at a young age, nonetheless. So is hanging a man slowly. When did this hanging accident occur? You don't have to keep answering his questions. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. Seemed like a good way to end the war. How long had you known the victim? Known him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. Yeah! Who do you think we are? Quiet. He came around about three weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Happy. Happy. By the Pines Cow, you mean Joyce Messier, mm -hmm. the representative for White Pines? The same company you are striking against? No. I mean the Pines Cow. The stupid ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. But you know what? Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. Who is this? That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer. Your interview is drawing to an end. Don't, Don't waste, waste your, your last, last question. question. Why did you kill him? How did you kill him? Why or how? If I say how, he's just going to say I hung him. Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out alive. Ah, uh, so he's a mercenary. I am. He stepped out of line. What kind of mercenary? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Semenine written all over him. Ex Oranese okay. Special Force. A live grenade, right here in our bar. This one has a special. Let's just behave. Said no one ever. Oh, you're covering me right now. I waved, and it doesn't mean much, because that needs to go away. Hi, Lady Keelilla. Hello, hello. What's going on? Playing some I Disco Elysium. It, but I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. They hire merc shit like that. Story of every strike from here. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting up. Oh! How's your weekend? Oh, man. Uh, hold on, how do you even know he was Special Forces? One night, he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm R&E's goddamn Special Forces, and I'm gonna fuck you all! Nice and lazy? That's awesome. Good. I, uh, I finished Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, now we're on to Disco Elysium. Uh, and I have Cyberpunk as well. I might... I've been thinking about starting Stardew Valley. I've never played through Stardew Valley before. So I might do that. Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some Aranese paratrooper song, 
and said he's gonna fuck everyone. We couldn't believe it either. But he fucked. I have baseball at 3:30 right today. Like some kind of animal. It's cold and rainy, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. But we'll see. What did he actually do wrong? Um, he harassed, harassed women, women raped, raped one, one, harassed workers, threatened to kill some. Workers oh. threatened to kill some as a warning. There's a slight unease in him, suddenly. He regrets mentioning the rape. He'd kill us all if we don't open the gates, if we don't let the scabs in, if we don't bend over. Right. And that was before he started coming here. Uh, I am EST, yes. Yes. I am on the Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started to come in here every night. I live in uh, Ontario, Ontario, Canada. Grabbing girls. Grab one of ours mid karaoke right there on the stage. He grabbed someone. Uh, grab someone. Yeah. This girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl, young. Gets into the second verse of Lover Lake. Lover Lake. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming. Jesus. Show me your con. Best time zone. Show me your con. Hell yeah, it is. Then. Every other time zone other than EST does not fall compare. Down. I agree. I agree. Was this the same girl who was sexually uh, raped? She said, okay then, now. Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before care anything care could happen. It. Right? They got the girl out. Hey, the May Cat. Greetings across yeah. the Atlantic then. <laughs> Hello! Uh, we're well in. I I inspected the body, the May Cat. I also, um, I'm on to the next day. So I'm in day two right now. Yeah. I'm talking to the union. Eugene got around. Aren't you fucking listening? Uh, right, but who did he rape? This is a very serious allegation. No. You're not getting a name. That's a Martinez matter. Okay. And I'm not discussing it with you clowns. Uh, how is your stats? How did you like your dream? The dream was good. Uh, I got some information out of it. Uh, and it helped me, uh, towards talking to the body again. Um, my stats are fine? I don't know. I, I've, I've been passing... I failed a 97% check because I rolled two ones. It was a critical fail. It was so bad. One more question in. Um, I'm going to ask for one last time. Who did the dead man rape? Okay. Titus, do not answer. You have been forthcoming enough. Fuck off, Carl. She's gone through enough without you harassing her, too. She doesn't That's disco for you, baby. What are you talking about? Embarrassment. If someone has been sexually assaulted, we need to... What you need... To get, get the... the fuck out of my face. I've had enough of explaining myself to you fucks. He's dead. It's, it's done. done. As you can see, these men can only take so much baseless scrutiny. So... I'm All of these men killed him. The situation civil. Easy. It's true. She was the only thing holding him back. Um, how did you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Still. Didn't they teach you anything at the, the cop, cop school? school? Idiot. You're pretty sure you uh... of cop school and many more of actives. Certainly enough to not put up with this back sass. Deliver a knockdown. We need more. Did you muffle him? We haven't heard any reports of screams. Titus, you don't have to clarify anything. We overpowered him. Dragged his unconscious body to the tree. Put a noose around his neck and hanged him till he was dead and steady. I kind of feel like they didn't. I don't know. Then we left him for seagulls, Ooh. maggots, and you. 28! And this is a red check. Oh, I can't do that. Wasn't he a trained killer? If yes, then how did you manage to overpower him? With numbers, asshole. How do you think? Obviously. You're right, Lizzie. No, he hasn't. Not yet. Where did this overpowering happen? What you fucking listening? The fucker came to our bar. It happened right, it happened here. right here. Titus lets the others clear out the details. So he doesn't get his hands muddy with explaining too much. I can't. I, I, this is only. Oh, it's only 42% and it's a red check. Oh, I don't want to do it right now. I don't want to do it right now. Like what, copper? 
we hang. Didn't they take your pretty no. shirt? Certainly, I know. Not to put up with this back sass. Titus, we owe them. Then we left him for seagulls, maggots. Is and this is this worth just doing, or is this bad? Like, should I leave this question for later when I get a skill point and I can put more skills into composure? What's the right thing to do here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Red checks? Yeah, I can't recheck red checks. Um... But it's okay to fail. I'm gonna do it. Actually, ah! admirably, surprisingly composed. The entire room. Given how many questions you've lobbed their way. All of them, maybe one of them is fidgeting, cracked under well, pressure. This one, but he's always fidgeting, so don't get your hopes up. It happens. I failed way more than I've passed this entire game. Like what? Way more. Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. Fine. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just come Best to first degree murder. Have I been inside the bookstore? Yes. I went in the bookstore, I looked at all the books. Uh, I, that's where I got my hat from. That's where I got this hat. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent -a cop is gonna hear from us, real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. Okay. Rent -a -cop. So that's what I haven't about. gone into the back he yet because she didn't want me to. Or maybe I should. Forget about their games. You've mapped out the characters. Oh. Reading the footprints in the yard should be easier now. Uh, scan the room. No, no, no. Eyes here. You got business with my boys. You got business with the boys are too eager to please him to keep their mouths shut. You're gonna get a good head count here. Just wait. Yeah, you fuck with the Hardy boys. <laughs> you fuck with Titus Hardy. Relax, Dennis. No one is fucking you yet. Gee. Yeah, Dennis, calm down. No one's fucking you, you stupid fuck. Oh my god. Let Dennis enjoy his fucking man. We don't mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not even being fucked, Dennis. Oh my god. Easy, fellas. We got company. Let's see what brings the cop around. Too late. You already scanned the room. You got a pretty good picture. Got pretty good. Got it. Good. You could take another look at the tracks in the yard on the crime scene. See if they fit this bunch. I'm gonna do this. Establish authority. First. Yes. Authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. God, I failed that hard. I wasn't that bad, though. I had a nine. First you tell me someone's been raped, and then you don't say who. That's bullshit. I'm the only thing keeping this town from going to hell, and you're not helping. Uh, Kim, I need your gun. Oh, jeez. And what exactly is it you've been doing that's so goddamn special? Shitting yourself in front of us. Going around. Harassing kids on the street. Kids. Not harassing anybody. Wrong. All the while talking racist shit. Don't think we aren't watching fascia. People here trust us. I haven't We're said anything racist. Complaint. Of course you have. Oh, you what? Kept left and right. Inciting race in my town. Kali said they've been trying to set up a race rally, whatever the fuck that means. Trying to get the kips out of Revishaw before the economy goes to shit. Uh all I care about is Revishaw and his people, and if some foreigner thinks it's a lie, there's no race rally. Sure there is. Kali said they're both purchasing confession. What did you do? Oh, I have no true. idea. I said that I wasn't racist. I said I haven't said yeah, any racist anyways. shit. And then all of a sudden my Kali my morale went down. Get the fuck out of here, you racist. I think I'm car. racist. There'll be no race rally in my town. What happened? We got absolutely wiped. Let's go before. What's going on? Are you racist now? No. Is the rally real? 
Please don't set up any rally. It'll make you look awful. There is no rally. Come on. What is going on? Questions. You need to put this race rally garbage in the rear view mirror. All right, bye. Jamais vu. Derealization. So I got a thought Jamais complete vu. now. The opposite of Plus Deja one XP for every orb clicked. All seen, intellect learning caps raised by one. Seen. Oh, I have a level up I can use too. All right. Is there anything else with you? Nothing to say to you. No. What? 